All the scripts in this video can be found over at robloxscripts.com, link in the description. Like this video and subscribe for more daily scripts. What up everybody, it's your boy Roblox Scripts coming at you guys with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to download, install and execute scripts using the Celery Roblox Executor. So yes, this is a PC executor, you do not need an emulator to use this, you can use this on the website version of Roblox. So we're not going to waste any more time, let's get straight into the video. So you want to start off by clicking the link in the description below, it's going to take you over to this page right here, Celery Free No Key Roblox Executor Exploit July 2024, that's how you know you're on the right post if you see all of these things on your screen. So to get this, you want to click on the Discord, but before we actually download this, I just want to warn you guys that these executors that are coming out recently, pretty much every executor is detected right now, so don't risk your main account. Roblox is definitely going to clamp down by the end of 2024, and by clamp down, I mean we can expect hardware ID bans, we can expect accounts getting terminated and much more terrible things to come. So please protect yourselves, use an alt account only. You can't say I haven't warned you. Let's proceed with the video. So to download this, you wanna join the Discord server. So once you join the server, you want to head over to the Celery download channel, and this is where you want to install Celery installer. So we're gonna install the EXE, we're going to drag this to our desktop. So the Celery installer is now on the desktop and you've probably noticed that I also have a script pack on my website as well. I highly recommend you install the script starter pack. So Celery is pretty terrible. There's not many scripts that it can run. So that's another reason why I also recommend you install the script starter pack so you have a few scripts to mess around with instead of having to spend the next three hours finding stuff that works. So to install Celery, you just want to literally open the installer, run it as admin, and here we go, so the installer is going to load up, it's going to ask you which executor you prefer, just select the new UI, there's no point using legacy, click current directory, do whatever settings you want, it's up to you, it's your preference, and then the, the actual executor will install, click on the celery folder, open up celery, and here we go, this is literally it guys, this is celery. Now you've got the script pack, you want to extract the script pack, and once the script pack is extracted, we can now add this to our celery scripts folder, like so. So we'll go into the scripts folder, we drag all of these scripts which, which we just downloaded from robloxscripts.com into here, and now we're pretty much ready to go. You can see we've got celery, and on the left hand side we've got all of the scripts from the starter pack. This is pretty much it, so let's get into the actual showcase of Celery. So as always, we're going to start off on a base plate and we're going to run some basic tests, which is executing infinite yield and executing a UNC test. You can see that it does inject really, really quickly. Now it can have some issues with injecting, sometimes it can crash depending on what scripts you're trying to run and what games you're trying to inject on. Not really much point of using this, you might as well use Solara, it can execute way more. But I know some of you are curious and I'm not here to judge, so let's check out the UNC score for Celery. The UNC score right now is, if I can actually scroll down, 72%. So I scored 72% right now, it may be lower, I've heard some people saying it's 60%. Maybe if you run this a few times, like 10 different times on base plate you might get different scores but right now we've just hit 72% score. Can this execute infinite yield? Yes. Now there are a few problems with this. I can't run dex. Every time I run dex from infinite yield it never works with celery and every time I try and use the ESP it doesn't work but you can use commands like swim so you can swim around and your game will not crash so you can execute some infinite yield commands but I've realized that this is heavily broken. Now, some people, they've been looking for ESPs to use with this. This is one of the best ESPs I've found that works with Celery, and it's a part of the script starter pack, so make sure you've got this. It works on quite a lot of games, and it, I haven't had any issues with it crashing or slowing down my FPS, so it works pretty good. So let's showcase Celery in a few different games. The first game we're going to go in is Arsenal, then we're going to go on Phantom Forces, and then we're going to go on Blade Ball, and that will be the end of the video. So if you want to see how it performs on these games, skip to those parts. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like. Comment down below what you want to see next. And if you have any issues, make sure to join the official robloxscripts.com Discord server at discord.robloxscripts.com. It will take you straight to the Discord. You'll be able to find a bunch of scripts there. You'll be able to talk to like-minded people and it's a great community to become a part of. So I'd love to see you guys there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.